Hello and welcome back to Bug Rounds. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So at last, at last, we are finally making our native UK bug enclosure. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's a big tank we are going to make where we house wild caught insects and arachnids from the UK, both predatory and prey. And we're going to see whether the predators do dominate the tank, whether the prey hide away and outlive them. Now the tank we're gonna be using was the original coffee table enclosure. So not the one that's featured recently, not 2.0, but the original coffee table enclosure. So it is a really large tank with plenty of space for the animals to hide. Now for those that think this is cruel, yes, putting them in a more enclosed space than the outside world, you know, it is kind of playing God in a way but I'm doing it for research purposes. I wanna see new behaviors. I wanna see how some of the animals that we have here in the UK, especially those that are watching this from the UK, how they thrive, how they act in a large environment where we can't watch them all day and night in the wild. Well, most of us that have jobs don't have time to do that. So it's really, really research based. We're gonna try and do some live videos within the tank when it's all set up. We've got nothing to put in there today, guys. We're gonna do several bug hunts over all of spring to find various insects and arachnids to put into this enclosure. And if I happen to spot anything, as and when I'm going to work or day-to-day -day life that I think would adapt well in this enclosure, I will get it. But today's video is purely the creation. So without further ado, let's look at the tank and create an awesome environment inside. So here is the tank, folks. Excuse any mess in the background. I did mention in a previous video that uh, I'm having to do rearrangements here in a realm. So this was the old coffee table enclosure. It's an old three foot fish tank. Plenty of space for both predator and prey items. What you see in the bottom were some of the leftover clay balls from last time. The first step we've got to do for this enclosure is refill those clay balls. Now for those of you that don't know, clay balls are used as a drainage layer. So if we have any live plants or anything like that in there and we water it, all the water seeps through the clay balls onto the bottom. It doesn't just make it a kind of quagmire um, substrate within the enclosure. So let's grab these clay balls. <sighs> Well, that was satisfying. Now you don't need to watch me adjust these, but I'm gonna put them in place. And on the top, I am going to put a sheet of netting. That's to stop the substrate falling straight through into the clay balls. So there we are, the clay balls are in and the netting's in place. I've made the clay balls slightly shallower at this end. I'm going to be popping this little tub in here. Like so. Now we'll come to why that's in there in a little while. So the next thing we want to do is now cover this in substrate. But the cool thing is guys, the cool thing is I have left a load of topsoil in a box for three months outside. So it's collected all sorts of seeds that have come through before winter, it's collected maybe different living organisms in there. We might even have the odd spider or woodlouse or worms in there. We could have anything. It's been left outside and being a UK enclosure, we want it as natural to the UK as possible. And that's why I have done that. So that is gonna be the first layer we put in. There's also been bits of wood in there that have been able to decompose over time, making it great for any kind of millipedes or wood lice that we find along the way. So here it is. So I, I am out of breath running up two flights of stairs with this substrate box. So in here, there has even been plants growing and I've even found a spider web in here. So God knows what is thriving inside, what organisms, if there's any inverts and plant matter. So we're gonna pour this straight in. Whoa. Amateur mistake, forgot the light, but you can see it a little bit better now. And you see the sort of mossy tinge that was left from three months of being in there. So what I'm gonna do now is dig deep and I'm gonna layer this substrate how I want it and we're gonna add some more topsoil to the top. Mm -hmm. 
Next job is to add some bits of bark and things. Now, I'm using only bark I have collected here. This is a whopping piece. I've saved this for months. Now, I'm only using this kind of bark that I have actually found because, again, we want it to be as natural to their current homes as possible. This bit of bark is actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's going to be the main centerpiece of this tank. So let me give you another angle. So our main piece of bark makes one whopping hide. But of course, because there's ridges all over this, there's plenty of places for small inverts to hide within this piece too. I think that is a whopping centerpiece. Now, because I underestimate the size of this bark, I don't think we're gonna put more bark type hides in here. Instead, we're gonna use twigs and leaf litter to cover the rest of this. Add in a few stones for hiding spots too. Just a quick add in this video, I found this stick that I'd had lying around for a different centerpiece, but I thought I'd use it. So it's now been around three hours. I've been to my local woods and collected some leaf litter. I also found a fallen tree where someone had then cut at the roots and it left some wood chips that's been sat in the rain. So I'm gonna place all this in now. I'll give you a better view in a moment, guys. But next, I picked up the odd bit of rock. I picked up some bits of root of plants and some ivy that may re-establish rooting. If not, it will still die off and give a cool effect in the enclosure. So we're gonna now put all of that in. So I would say mission is almost complete. Here we have it, some rooted in plants, bark, rocks, and then over here the only bit I cheated with that I didn't find was some spare sphagnum moss I put round the edge of the plastic container just to hide it a bit more and give it more of a naturalistic feel. Let's have a view from the front. So as you can see we've still got our awesome cave some plants growing underneath now. I think I've done pretty well here. This part mounds up, which is where we are hiding the plastic container. Now can you imagine my camera being left in here? With a little bit of light on at night time for you guys to see what's scurrying about. I am chuffed with this. But we have a few more things to do first. Such as filling up this container here with water. So if you haven't guessed, this is becoming a pool. So here guys, is my custom piece of acrylic lid. Which just fits on with enough room for the wire. So all I need to do just put a piece of cardboard or plastic or something to slide right to the side to stop escapees. I'm also going to try and add a sort of slippery layer along the top in case I get things like ants make their home in here and I've picked them up by mistake. It will stop them climbing out. So like a Vaseline in a lip or something else oily sort of greasy based. I won't show you that bit on camera because that's just boring. So next we plug in the filter and see if it works. Okay, here goes the plugging in. Three, two, one. I can hear it. I expected a bit more of a buzz for the first <laughs> plugging in. You probably didn't hear a thing. Let me show you. So excuse the glare. Hang on, let's remove the lid so you can see. <laughs> Our murky pool has waves. So if you want to see what else dwells in the realm, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. And here we have it, our new enclosure. Now the next time you see this enclosure, I'm also going to name it. I'm not going to ask for you guys to name it for me like some YouTubers would, but that's because this tank actually has sentimental value to me and the name has to relate. 
Something I'll explain in a future video when we add some animals to this enclosure. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care. Bye bye.